This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxo. I am here at Earth University in Limon in Costa Rica and I am here on their banana plantation. So there's two very interesting things that they do on their banana plantation that I want to share with you. One is they don't use pesticides and they don't use herbicides. That means around the, the tree, around the banana tree, you see weeds growing. So that provides biodiversity and it also provides um, resistance to these different pests that are around the area. There's different uh, plants and things growing around there with bioorganisms uh, around the banana tree. The second thing is you can see this blue uh, plastic bag here. Normally on conventional banana farms, this blue plastic bag is used to protect the bananas from uh, different bugs and insects and they spray this uh, blue plastic bag with pesticides. Here they're using a botanical pesticide with onions and it's all plant-based foods to protect the bananas. So to protect the bananas but to keep them safe from um, these toxic pesticides that are used on conventional banana farms. And the one challenge that they have here at Earth University is something called black cigatoga. It's a fungus that because they're growing bananas in very high humidity, it's unavoidable. So they have to deal with this. And this is what it looks like on the leaf when the banana leaf becomes infected with this black cigatoga. And when bananas are grown in other countries like Ecuador, Peru, places where they do not have high humidity, they do not have the problem with black cigatoga. So we were just out in the banana fields and now we're at the packing plant of the bananas. So the bananas get shipped about 20 kilometers. That's about 12 miles. So they get shipped into the plant. They get washed for a high pressure spray wash of water. They get put into a bath the, the, and the diapers come off before. And then they pack them up and they put the stickers on and they put them into boxes. And then ultimately those boxes go into a big container and get shipped to the United States, to Europe, or they even sell them here locally within, within Costa Rica. And it's just been an incredible day to see, you know, I'm a huge fan of bananas and I eat them all the time, but I've never really had any idea where they came from or how they're grown or how they're picked. And that's what I learned today. It was incredibly fascinating. And the way that Earth University is doing it with such, such respect for, for nature and the environment and, you know, no pesticides, um, no herbicides, and they're recycling the bags. Just the, the way that they're approaching their bananas and incorporating sustainability is just so, so impressive. And I know that I'm gonna be an Earth University fan forever. So it's been an amazing day, and I hope you learned something about bananas. This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. Just remember to buy well, eat well, and most importantly, live well. Thanks for watching.